and I'll get to that question. No, uh, Megan, I'll answer that question in just a moment. Sorry, we've got this little hyena. It doesn't look like a particularly old hyena. Hyena, where are you going? Is it smelling something? You can see it using its nose. Now, a lot of you, I'm sure, will be able to identify who this hyena is. I'm not certain as to who it is, unfortunately. But it doesn't look particularly old. It still looks like a juvenile. Still a little bit too small to be an adult male, even. So it's probably only maybe almost two years old or so. But let us know. Hashtag Safari Live if you know exactly which hyena this is. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is just a small male. But it does not look fully grown to me. Are you? I don't know. You've got tattered ears. If you are, you're a very small hyena. Maybe it is one of the resident males. Now that I'm looking at it. But it's not very big. That's one thing that I can tell you. Now we've got some massive female hyenas out here. We're very lucky. What are you looking for? But now that I'm looking at its ears. If you have a look at its ears very quickly while it's standing still. You'll see how tattered they are. You see that? Now normally a young hyena could have some markings on the ears, but I think that those look like maybe they're a bit too old. Yeah, there's a couple of notches, so perhaps it is one of the boys. You are small. Where is the rest of your clan? He's listening. He's smelling. He's looking for one last snack before he goes to bed. Let's follow him. And then Megan will let me know exactly which hyena it is as soon as she finds out. And he's starting to trot a bit. Let's try and keep up. M madam, my goodness. Okay, Crystal, you say that it is Madam, a female hyena. She's really small. She's not big at all. Like I said, um, I, I mean, we've, we've oh, hang on, it's picking up the pace even more now. We're gonna have to just keep up. Running past the pans on Shibamu. It's gonna pop out just here in front of us. That's really amazing because it's not. This is not a big hyena at all. Not at all. That's very interesting. And, well, off she goes, because Madam is a girl. Um, oh, here's another one. You see, there's a bigger hyena. That's a much bigger hyena. That's almost double the size of the one that we were just talking about. Hello. Now, this is definitely looks like a female. Look how thick her neck is. Much taller. Like I said, this one is double the size of the one that we were just watching. So I'm not sure who we're looking at. I thought Madam... Isn't Madam's supposed to be quite high ranking if I'm not mistaken I thought that she was quite high ranking and I thought therefore she would be a much larger hyena yes well that is very interesting I don't know I think I have seen madam before um, but like I said that hyena that we we're first looking at was a very small one this one is much bigger now this looks like a female Straight away you can see the difference. So I wonder who this is that we're looking at. Perhaps the whole clan is just in here. Maybe they're just moving around. Maybe this is where Hosan has been hanging about. And, and that's perhaps why these hyenas are around. They will follow leopards. They're known for doing that. Especially if they've caught something. Right, let me go forward a bit. I think we might get a, a shot if we go forward. Have a look here. I'm just going to pull off the road slightly just to see if we can get a bit. Oh, yes, there's a whole lot here. There's three. Where are you going? Okay, I'm going to be naughty. I'm just going to poke my nose off road here. There's a big old two track going in here anyway. But we'll just do this. See, there's three hyenas. No, I have just put the spotlight on them just to warm the light slightly. You see, again, these are two females over here. That one, I don't know. That one is so much smaller than the other hyenas. Look at that. See there? Off they go. Right past the car. How cool is this? Now, they're amazing animals. This is one animal that I wish we could keep up with and just follow them for an entire 24 hours. I would love to see what a hyena gets up to. I know a large portion of their day, would, if it's hot, would be spent in a puddle of water uh, trying to cool down they love to sit in water there's another one that is going to pop up it's just hiding behind this tree but I suspect that it is going to run past us in a moment so if you have taken screenshots please hashtag safari live with them and who exactly they are 
It'll be interesting to find out who we're waiting for and who's not with the three of them here. But it's also not uncommon. It is quite common for hyenas to split up like this. Some will go off on their own, others will stick together. You might just be able to see a bit of ear moving just over there in the corner. Hang on, they're coming across. No, stopped. There we go. You can just see the movement just behind the tree. Come on, make your mind up. Where are you going? No, we're not going to go any further off road. I think there must have been a sighting here. Actually, I think it could have been a sighting from when I had Shongile just off road and on a termite mound not far from here. I think that's what this old two track is that I'm that I'm on. Bye bye. Off they go. Isn't that cool? What a nice way to start the morning. But we'll see. We'll keep going up further. I, I, see, I don't know if they're going to go further and further into this block. Oh, there, they've popped out again. Which means we won't be able to follow them. But if they do decide to come back onto the road, that'll be great. It'll be really, really quite wonderful. Now, Ali, you're wondering why do hyenas follow a leopard? Well... They actually follow a lot of different predators around. However, I think they've choose to follow leopards and maybe even cheetah because they're smaller, they're solitary, it's easier for them to come through and actually snatch something up. I'm just going to keep they just going at the back, so keep an eye on them. They're going to just think, keep doing loops and circles around us. Um, so that's what they're following them, hoping that once they do catch something, they can either race in and sort of chase the predator off, a leopard being easier to chase one animal off, and steal it. Or, um, as if they've taken it up the tree, they'll just wait at the bottom and they'll get their, their scraps. They are incredible kleptoparasites, hyenas. So what that means is, is that they, they're really good at stealing food from other animals, something that they haven't necessarily caught themselves. So they're incredible at that, but they're also really, really good hunters. That's something that you mustn't forget. Hyenas are ca able and capable to take down prey of their own. And, down in the south they used to go after kudu quite often and they used to get all the impala lambs as well as all of the uh, wildebeest calves we actually watched it where they would swoop in and, and snatch up all the afterbirth and um, which is actually quite common uh, to see predators doing that jackals actually do the same thing even if they can't get a whole animal they'll be quite happy to eat the um, sort of all the afterbirth which would be high in nutrients and actually really good for them so not one thing goes to waste out here